We are seated here just getting ready to have a beautiful day. Had some real good revelations last night about self-love, self-acceptance, and healing from within. Um, currently we're, we're reading this one by Louise Hay and it's how, how you can heal your life and it has some exercises that you can do to immediately release some of that stagnant energy that you feel you know holding on to grudges and just different stuff you know and so yeah that's what's up for today and would like to do some yoga i wish i could film myself doing it but i guess i could walk through it and maybe you know you could watch but yoga also helps to kind of move the energy get the breath flowing from the bottom up um from your root up and out and um it's just kind of a whole body routine that i like to do when I need to clear some energy that's holding me back. Um, I did realize that there's a, there's a major energy shift that needs to take place in order for my healing to move forward. And it's someone who I don't want to <laughs> deal with, but it's absolutely necessary to my healing process that I deal with them. Um, so, anyway, as you can see, it is a beautiful day out here. I'm out here on the porch. Oh my gosh, amazing. I want to figure out how to show you what it looks like out here. And, um, yeah, so, Anyways, I hope that you guys are also going to have a beautiful day and feeling pretty good. Got to keep on the self-love train, healing train, heal and get back to 100% healthy. Ooh. Get some of that beautiful vitamin D like uh, Ralph Smart says, breathing in that beautiful prana, baby. <laughs> All right. Well, peace. Love. Potential damage to my health had the black mold not been discovered and cleaned, I would have been breathing that. And so I'm very thankful to be here today breathing clean air, knowing inside of my walls are completely clean. And I'm going to drink clean water and eat clean foods and think clean thoughts and I'm going to generate a healthy body, mind, spirit, and uh, I'm very happy about it because that's what Laurel's Treehouse is all about. That's the whole purpose of it, is to feel good, complete well-being. All three parts of you, me, myself, and I, and take ownership for it and don't blame anyone else. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. Self-love is real. If you don't love yourself, you can't love anyone else. You just can't. So, healthily, healthy, in a healthy way. You can love them, but it would be in a codependent, needy, kind of twisted way. But a healthy love is when you love yourself so much that when you meet another person, they're only just enhancing you instead of like you're depending on them to make you happy that's not fair you should be happy all by yourself before you meet them if you're waiting for someone else to make you happy you're going to be waiting for the rest of your life anyway that's enough i just wanted to say hi i'm here i had a really bad couple of days but I'm feeling so much better, so much more at peace with knowing I have control of my emotions. I have control of my health. I have control of what kind of food I eat. No one can do that but me. 
and I am happy that I'm able to do it. And I see a big, bright future ahead of us. So anyway, peace and love. Bye. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Happy sunrise. Welcome to Laurel's Healing Tree House. Today we're going to show you what we made. It took me about an hour and a half. Uh, trying to flip it so you can... There you go. So you got fresh juice with a whole lot of ingredients. Pancakes, chickpea flour pancakes with peaches and turkey bacon. And mom is enjoying her juice. She witnessed the whole thing. So, bon appetit. Broccoli, kale. I have some kale at home. Say, what are you getting? What are you getting? I'm getting broccoli. <laughs> And what will this all be used for? What are these items that we are trying to... These items are for juicing and also for cooking. We have our list over here. And we are going to make a grand meal. We'll see you when we get out of the shop. Welcome to Laurel's Healing Tree House. So we're in the kitchen now. And we put some ingredients together. We got the red lentils with some onions, garlic, ginger, cumin, turmeric, black pepper, simmering here for 15 minutes until the lentils are soft. We're going to add some kale because we didn't buy chard. Swiss chard is what was recommended, but you know, you work with what you got. We're going to add that and make them... Uh, wilt a little bit get softer and then in the oven we've got loaded fruit of baked potatoes as our base so when those pop and get real hot we're going to slice them down the middle let the steam pop out and then we're going to put a spoonful of our speedy red lentil doll with kale and voila you got a plant-based meal you got protein you have fiber you have all of those elements for sinuses and colds to clear you out. And this meal literally costs probably $5 um, between the, the lentils, the onions, the ginger, the, and the potatoes, and the kale. I think the meal for three people is, is literally going to be less than 10 bucks, And it's going to last us for two days. So we're making moves, people. Peace and love. Hi everyone, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna enjoy this meal that we worked super hard for today. And we thank you for joining Laurel's Healing Treehouse. We're gonna get better together, one plate at a time. Peace. Whoa, that meal was delicious. <laughs> I gotta go now, but follow us and like us on Snapchat at Free Flying Dragon or subscribe to the YouTube channel down below. Laurel's Treehouse. Laurel's Healing Treehouse. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, welcome to Laurel's Tree Healing House. Once again, I'm Laurel, and tonight we made a soup. I got a flu shot today, unfortunately, because you know that's what the doctor recommended. I'm having some symptoms, some drainage, some congestion. So I came home and I made this and so what I did was I used these rice noodles first and I chopped up a bunch of veggies I got cabbage 
shallots, garlic, I didn't chop those, they were in a jar. Um, I did chop fresh onions, put some basil, bay leaves, celery, carrots, and some spices. I did use this kind of organic, go gluten-free soy sauce. Well, yeah. And my mom <laughs> inspired me to chop up this. This is butternut squash. And we're in the season of fall, so I added some cinnamon, nutmeg, some butter, and I just put it in the crock pot forever. I don't know how long that takes, but it's on high. Hopefully, before I go bed, go to bed, it will be ready and lovely. And um, yeah, so we're gonna knock these symptoms away, and we're gonna keep being healthy at the laurels. Tree Healing House, Laurel's Healing Tree House, or Laurel's Tree House of Healing. I'm not sure I'm playing with the name right now, but I got my numbers today. Went to the doctor. I don't know if you all know, but I have blood cancer or had it, and I'm healing. So that's why I'm calling it Healing Tree House. And I have reduced my numbers by half since last month again, so I'm almost normal which means reduced medicines will be coming in my future and that will be amazing to not take any more meds any more steroids any more antibiotics any more maintenance pills because your health healthy eating is your maintenance right if you think healthy and you eat healthy and you work your body nutritious you know i mean fitness wise then you're gonna be healthy and you're gonna heal everything but it does start with your mind and your heart and then your body right the 3b so i'm sweating because it is hot in this kitchen and like i said i'm having flu symptoms so this must be the temp like the high fever phase so anywho i took some benadryl about to eat and everything is good Peace and love. Hi everyone and welcome to Laurel's Healing Tree House. So tonight we have something really special for you. We fell off our healthy wagon and we were not eating healthy. And we were starting to notice our bodies feeling grumpy lethargic and tired and also we noticed our budget shrinking at the drive-thru so today I went back on the wagon and I want to share with you the result of us being more mindful of what we put in our bodies all right. But first I had to clean the madness because it had grown. So, here we go. Ave Maria. What's in there? Let me tell you. This is called cauliflower chili. So cauliflower is our meat replacement, and we have chili, and you know, chili beans, uh, diced tomatoes, put a lot of chopped onions, garlic. I did use a pep a seasoning mix for flavor, and some frozen peas, and then over here we have the quinoa. So we're going to lay the chili, uh, well, we're going to put the quinoa on the bottom, make a bed, and we're going to put lay the chili on top, and voila, we are back on track to the healthy, loving ourselves, our bodies, our family, everything, our minds, our spirits, and our bodies are going to be refueled and reconnected from this. It's going to be soul food. So peace and love. Next time. Oh. All 
Alright, I just want to show you what it looks like. if he chooses tomorrow or we'll see I mean if they love it we may not have any leftovers and then I know to cook double portion next time so we'll see I'm not sure so here goes the this is what you put the chili on the top with all the veggies and make the cauliflower the meat Source tonight. And I really hope that my family enjoys it and that it nourishes their body because I love them and we've been through a lot, but we've also been eating bad food, so it's kind of hard to restore yourself with junk food. my baby who loves cheese. <laughs> I did buy some cheese. Now we don't eat dairy because dairy causes inflammation, but my son is 12. So, you know, you got to give and take. But you can put cheese on it just like regular chili if you want to. All right. Love you.